So how do you install the Rodzilla top on a Neo? Well, let me show you. Now, I've sort of skipped ahead just to make it a little quicker and easier. Uh, we're going to presume that you know how to take your side sandbags off, and I've already loosened the, the rail plates here that hold the bottom bag on. So we're gonna take off those rails, and we're gonna take off the sandbag, and then you have the two mounting screws. Now, these can be a little tight uh, originally from Seb. Just be careful, use the right size bit so that you get really positive engagement on uh, the screw head and get those out. Now, I've done it a couple times. Mine are a little looser and easier to get out, but they did take a little bit of a pop the first time. Now, the plate just comes off and goes to the side, and here's what you're left with. So you've got the springs and then the two mounting screws. Now, for the sake of mounting, uh, from whichever side you've been shooting on the shooter side, lift the joystick up, and that will help uh, See how when I lower it, there's more spring available? You wanna lift it up so that the springs are further down. It'll make mounting easier. Now, what we've got is uh, a mounting plate for the rod top, and then we have the upper plate. Now, I'll show you uh, right here what you're going to want to do first is this piece just comes right out and you can actually just install your Neo uh, front uh, forend stop right there. And then on the mounting plate, you are just going to go ahead and bring over your Neo, if you have one, uh, level. And so this happens to be, uh, you know, again, I'm working with an, a proto more of a prototype version, uh, but it is exactly the same. You just bring over your level from your Neo super easy and then uh, what we're going to do is kind of show you how this goes on and some of the things you really have to watch for so the first thing is to know which mounting spots you're going to use now there's three different ones they have a very deep recess to hold the screw so there's one two and three the one on the inside is for the mini the one on the outside here is for the neo and the one way out here is for the max and if you ever have a question, you can line it up and see there's the screw and there's the screw. And then your springs are going to go right through the mounting plate there. So here's what we're going to do like that. Now make sure that you install it the direction that you need it to go. Uh, I happen to shoot uh, shooter side for me is with the two screws facing me. Some people have it facing with the single leg. Uh, it's however you want to do it, but just make sure that you have the level facing towards the shooter, okay? So then what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and mount this. So we're just going to throw in the two supplied screws that he's got. And, uh, you know, use the screws that he gives you. There's a reason. Um, you can run into problems if you use, try to reuse the sub screws because of length differences. So. Okay, so we got that nicely snugged down. Okay, then there is this plate here. So that is the, uh, you know, the, the Delrin uh, or Teflon plate that is going to help you rotate. And then we have the actual top and then we have this piece that we took out in order to install the uh, forend stop. Now, you will notice inside here that he has it so that it is sort of not a horseshoe, but you can see that it has a very um, specific way it has to be installed. Make sure you do that properly. Okay, and then we're just gonna push this uh, down into uh, the hole here. Okay. And then we need to install this. Now, on the underside here, because we put the Neo forend uh, stop here, you have to put this underneath and then over that before you bring it down on top of the rest. Now, after that, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna align your screws so they look like this. We are going to put in this. And then we're gonna just tighten these down. Uh, that is literally all there is to it. So that's there, that's there. And what you will wanna check is make sure you have a nice clean swivel, okay? You can see that I've got nice swivel, it feels good. 
If it does not move nice and smooth, then you need to check either the Teflon plate underneath here or the big rectangular Teflon plate that is underneath here. One of those two is definitely gonna be binding up on you. Now you can put your stock back in, do your adjustments, tighten it down, and you're ready to shoot. Doesn't get much easier than that.